four tactics to protect your money in the age of inflation. Ever notice how a dollar doesn't seem to stretch as far as it used to? Or how the price of your favorite coffee seems to creep up year after year? That is, the sneaky work of inflation. More like an invisible thief. It's 2024, and of course, inflation is a hot topic. Prices are rising, and everyone's feeling the pinch. But what if we told you that with the right tactics, you can not only protect your money, but also come out ahead? Understanding inflation. Yes, for those who don't fully understand this term, well, let us explain. Inflation is the rate of which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. And as inflation increases, every dollar you own buys a smaller percentage of a good or service. In more simpler words, the value of a dollar does not stay constant when there is inflation. It could be due to increased production costs, like when the price of oil goes up, or it could be because of increased demand for products and services. When more people want something, the price tends to go up. That's the basic supply and demand most of us know. Interestingly, a little bit of inflation is actually healthy for the economy. It encourages spending and investment, which helps the economy grow. But when inflation gets too high, that's when we start to feel the pinch. Our money doesn't go as far, and we can't buy as much as we used to. And in today's economy, with everything that's been going on in the world, like we said, inflation is a hot topic. We're seeing some of the highest inflation rates in years. According to a recent report, if inflation rates continue as they are, the money in your pocket could be worth 20% less in just five years. That's like watching a fifth of your money just disappear. Can you imagine that? Your hard earned cash just evaporating. And it's not just your coffee, your daily groceries. Think about your savings. If you're saving for a big goal like a house or retirement, inflation can be a real villain. Let's say you've calculated that you need $500,000 to retire comfortably. But with an annual inflation rate of 2%, in 20 years, you'd actually need more than 740000 to have the same purchasing power. I mean, that's a big difference right there, don't you think? All right, enough of what inflation is and how it can eat away at your money. Now, let's talk about how to fight back and actually protect your money. Our first tactic, diversification. This is basically a fancy word for don't put all your eggs in one basket spreading your investments across different types of assets so that if one asset isn't doing so well, you have others that might be doing better. But how does that help with inflation? Well, different types of assets tend to react differently to inflation. For example, when inflation is high, cash and bonds might not do so well because the interest you earn might not keep up with rising prices. But other assets, like stocks and real estate, might do better. That's because companies can often pass on higher costs to customers and property values can rise with inflation. So by having a mix of different types of assets, you're more likely to have some investments that are doing well, even when inflation is high. If you're thinking of diversifying your portfolio, wait, it's not just about having different types of investments, but also having investments in different industries different countries, and even different currencies. Say you're a big fan of tech companies, and you invested all your money in tech stocks. That might seem like a good idea, which is tech booming, but what happens if the tech industry takes a hit? Your entire portfolio could take a hit. But if you had also invested in other sectors, like healthcare or utilities, those investments could help balance out any losses in your tech stocks. Apart from stocks, you could also consider bonds, real estate, commodities like gold or oil, or even alternative investments like cryptocurrencies or peer-to-peer -peer lending. Moving on to our second tactic, paying off existing variable debt. Wait, debt? I thought we were talking about protecting our money, not spending it. Stick with us here because this is a crucial part of your inflation fighting strategy. Variable debt is the debt where the interest rate can change over time. 
than credit cards or variable rate mortgages. When inflation rises, interest rates often rise too. And when interest rates go up, the cost of your debt goes up. That means you could end up paying more in interest over the life of your loan. Let's say you have a credit card balance of $5,000 with an annual interest rate of 15%. If you only make the minimum payments, it could take you over 20 years to pay off that balance and that you'd end up paying over $4,000 in interest. But if the interest rate goes up 20% because of inflation, you'd end up paying over $7,000 in interest. Quite a huge gap. The best strategy is to pay off your variable debt as quickly as possible. That means making more than the minimum payments and focusing on paying off your highest interest debt first. This is often called the avalanche method of debt repayment. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt right away, create a budget. And if you have a high interest loan, you might be able to refinance to a lower interest rate. This can save you money in the long run and make your debt more manageable. Next up, third tactic, maintaining a rainy day fund. It's a stash of money set aside to cover unexpected expenses, or you can say financial emergencies. Think of it as your financial umbrella, ready to protect you when financial storms hit. It could be anything from an unexpected medical bill, a sudden job loss, or even a global pandemic that disrupts your income. During times of high inflation, prices are rising. And if you're not prepared, these unexpected costs can be even more of a burden. Having a rainy day fund gives you a buffer against these costs, so you don't have to rely on credit or loans, which can be costly during inflation. Imagine you're a freelancer and your computer breaks down. Obviously, you need it for work, so you need to replace it immediately but with inflation, the cost of a new computer has gone up. If you have a rainy day fund, you can cover this cost without going into debt. Studies recommend to have enough to cover three to six months worth of living expenses. This gives you a buffer if you lose your income or face a large unexpected expense, but still, the exact amount will depend on your lifestyle. Try setting a monthly savings goal just for this. It could be as little as $20 or as much as $200, depending on what you can afford. Make it a habit and set up automatic transfers to your savings account to make it easier. Moving on, there's another tactic that might surprise you. Ever thought about investing in irreplaceable items? This can be a powerful strategy for protecting your money from inflation. By irreplaceable items, we mean the things that can't be easily duplicated or replaced. And no, we're not talking about your feelings. This could be anything from a piece of land in a prime location to a rare piece of art or even a unique collectible item. You know, these are things that have inherent value because of their rarity or uniqueness. The value of these items tends not to be affected by inflation in the same way as other assets. In fact, during times of inflation, the value of these items can actually increase. That's because as prices rise, the value of these unique irreplaceable items often rises too. Imagine you're a comic book enthusiast and you've managed to get your hands on a rare first edition comic book. This comic book is irreplaceable. Or let's just say they're not making any more first editions. The inflation kicks in and prices start to rise. The value of that comic book is likely to rise too because it's a rare item that can't be easily replaced. The same principle applies to the other irreplaceable items like land, real estate, or unique collectibles. The key is to find items that have inherent value and are likely to appreciate over time. Well, that's it for today. Four powerful tactics to protect your money from inflation. So what are your thoughts on these tactics? Have you tried any of them? Do you have any other strategies to share? Drop your comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out our recent video on Turn Your Side Hustle Into a Money-Making Machine, Insider Tips Reveal. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.